In this tutorial, you learn how to do the editing process for levitation photography. Levitation photography is the illusion that your subject is floating in the air. And you start by taking two photos, one with your subject sitting on a chair or a stool or two chairs, depending on how you want to situate them, and another of the same exact scene without your subject or the chair or the stool in it. So it's just the scene itself without anything else in it. And an easy way to do that is to use a tripod so that you can get the same exact photo without camera movement. So when you're done taking the photos, upload them to your hard drive and follow these steps. But in Photoshop, File, and Open, and then select the two photos that you took and open them. And with both of them, I'm going to double click on the background layer and click OK. You don't really need to name it. Double click on that. Basically, you're just making it a regular layer rather than a background layer. Let's click the Move tool and hold the Shift key down and move this over to the next one drag and drop it, and then click layer, layer mask, and reveal all. Then you click the brush tool, and make sure your foreground color is set to black, and that the background color is set to white. So you zoom in, what you're going to do now is erase these stools and you can change your brush size by right clicking on the photo and changing the size of your brush and so you just carefully brush that out to do large areas. And then you can make it smaller once you get ready to get in closer to your subject so that you don't make as many mistakes. Basically what you do is just go right along your subject very carefully and get rid of that stool. And same for the other one. And it's up to you whether or not you want to get rid of the shadow. Um, sometimes it's easier just to get rid of the shadow rather than to have to try and show the shadow without any mistakes. And if you want to get into a pixel level, all you do is zoom way in, <clears throat> make your brush size pretty small, and just go right along your subject very carefully to take out any of those little details. Oh, and that gives the illusion that your subject is floating in midair. And then if you make a mistake, like say you accidentally, you know, go on your, on your subject and you erase them, you can just push the X key and see how it switches between black and white when you push X. So switch the foreground to white and you can paint them back in. I could have 
gotten a little more detail out of there, but that is what the finished product looks like. When you're done, right click it, flatten image, and then you can continue with any kind of other editing you'd like. And that is levitation.